Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Yev. Today I have not the simple review but rather investigation. I'm playing Helldivers 2 a lot for the last couple of weeks and I decided to choose for myself the mouse with side panel of additional numpad, the MMO game mouse. And today I have three different products for your review. One is Red Dragon Elite, one is Naga Hyperspeed and one is Venus Pro. All three different but kind of the same. On your screen right now you can see the budget. Ra Razer as usual the most pricey, usually around 100 bucks right now, around 90. Uh, the Red Dragon M913 is about 50 bucks and Venus Pro about 40 bucks right now on Amazon. Let me quickly show you the difference between these products, right? Let's start from the Razer. The Razer is the only one with a battery inside without charging uh, through USB, right? But the only one with a side function of scroll and with two additional buttons on the left side. And of course, it's a much higher DPI rate than these two products. Uh, 2.4 wireless dangle can be hidden inside. Let me insert this into my PC. We will start testing from, from this product. This Venus Pro and this Aragon, they are very close products, really close. And my suspicion is that they are even equal in size, so the same hardware, because accidentally I can use same red Aragon driver for max macros creation and this driver can see both mice. It's kind of, you know, suggesting to me that they are the same. But anyway, slight difference on uh, on the surface. You, you can see the different surface, right? It depends on you what you like more. I like more this Venus because, because of this special surface layer. Uh, and on the right side, Aragon a little bit bigger than Venus. Everything else is kind of similar same 16,000 dpi and all of that. I propose to jump right into the main idea of this video and is it possible to create macros for Helldiver and how useful and how easy to use these products, these mice in a game with these macros. I already ins inserted my uh, Razer one let me show you the macros first. This is a Synapse with macro module. And you can see that I already created several macros like Eagle Airstrike, Orbital Rail Cannon, Rail Gun, and all of that. From the versatile point of view, this software is the most advanced from today's review, obviously. You can do a lot of stuff. You can record your presses from the keyboard, you can edit, you can shuffle, you can do it, whatever you want. Let's jump into the game. Let's do the trivial uh, just for testing purpose. I hope nobody will join us. We will be able to quickly... I will be able to quickly show you what I want to show. Okay, we are in the game. I have my railgun assigned to button number 10 and you can see one click and it's ready and my shield on 11 again one click and it's ready very useful from usability point of view in general razor is obviously good but for my hand it's a little bit too small if you have rather bigger hand like take this into consideration from the usability of this side noom pads it's no problem whatsoever it's very easy to access, very easy to press, very pleasant on press. Let me show you in a in a action. Let's switch railgun to unsafe mode. For example, I need to drop airstrike to this. Uh, what is this? And you need just to press and drop, and that's all. Let me quickly reconnect second mouse. For example, 
то есть Venus One. So this Venus one is the most pleasant for me and most easy to use for my hand. I don't know why, maybe because of the surface or uh, I don't know why. From this side numpad, it's very easy to use. It's no problem. You can feel what is like, which row you're on right now, your thumb. You can understand what what button from the one to three point of view because you can feel this. Okay, I'm done with this guys. From otherwise, like it's kind of just good good product with everything what you need and super budget and you can assign the macros. Because I'm using Red Dragon for this mouse because I already set up everything in a Red Dragon and you know what what I did? I just export profile and import to this mouse and everything up and running no issues whatsoever from the software point of view it's much simple obviously but it's doing what, everything what you need the only one issue if you will do the mistake inside the settings of the macro most probably the easiest way to delete and create this macros once again otherwise all good and if you have only 40 bucks for the gaming mouse what you need right now you can easily use this venus pro and same same approach one click you have airstrike ready for you it was mistake let me switch quickly to the red dragon same form same software same appro approach it's no big difference and again as i suspicious it is the same hardware inside it's only difference in how it looks like and red dragon a little, little bit wider from the right side from the numpad point of view easy to access no issues you can feel the row and line you can easily manipulate and uh, choose what exact button you need to press for example i need to resupply i'm just clicking this one key and there we go i have my resupply so guys basically that's all for today you have a three different products actually you have two different products uh, one is a razor more advanced more, like more pricey and these two guys very similar just small difference i'm sorry i need to deal with these guys and they called an airdrop Okay, let's call the eagle by one press. See, it's a super easy and super convenient. You may say that it's not democracy approach, but I rather will use this. And if you will try at least once, you will stick with this approach, believe me. So guys, that's all for this video. You can choose what is better for you for this exact purpose or maybe you're playing different game when you, where you need this side panel all these mice are ready to deliver let me finish with these bots and see you next time this is Pelican 1 preparing for touchdown <laughs> have a taste of democracy Complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent.